Hi everyone. The trustees of the church have asked me to put together this quick video to invite you to an informational meeting on Sunday, July 28th at 4 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall to learn more about the plans for the Wrightsville United Methodist Church Memorial Garden. To be able to place a loved one's ashes where the person worshipped and many of his or her milestones in life happened is quite significant. Where one was married, raised their children, baptized, grew in their faith, created lifelong friendships, and finally, where the loved one's life was celebrated upon death. To be able to either scatter or inter the loved one's ashes at their church is something many people want to do. A memorial garden invites community into the sacred space of the church, strengthening the bond between both. The church becomes the place where families come together in grief, where individuals seek solace and loss, and communities gather in remembrance. The Memorial Garden at Wrights United Methodist will be located on the south edge of the church campus right by the chapel. It will include a brick wall the length of the property with a columbaria, which is a storage for cremated remains, also known as cremains, of a deceased person. Each niche in the columbaria will hold the cremains of either one or two occupants. There will be a granite faceplate on each niche that will be engraved with the occupant's name, date, of birth and death. In addition, there will be a designated area of the memorial garden for the scattering or burying of cremated ashes. There will be a memorial plaque that will include the names of the individuals whose ashes have been scattered in the garden. This will be a self-funded project and this will not impact the church budget. Now, we've met with Wrightsville Beach's planning department and our attorney is drafting an application for amendment to the town's code of ordinance. We've hired a brick mason to build the brick wall that will house the columbaria. We've hired a company to provide the columbaria and granite face plates for each niche. We're working with a landscaping company to design the memorial garden for us and an artist to create a gate to the garden and a trellis to place on the side of our building within the garden. We anticipate going before the planning board of the town of Wrightsville Beach and the board of aldermen to get their approval to the town code of ordinance in the coming months. Upon the town of Wrightsville Beach's approval, reservations for niches and placement in the scattering garden will be available immediately, and we hope that will be this fall. So please join us Sunday, July 28th at 4 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall for a detailed presentation and the opportunity to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope to see you soon.